Welcome to Grandparents and Special Friends Day. I'm Albert Throckmorton. I'm the head of head of St. Mary's Episcopal School here. Uh, we know this is we know this is a special day because you're here and you are you have come from all over. Uh, we're so glad you're here. We know that there are folks that have traveled long, short, and long distances: Tennessee, Mississippi, Arkansas. Colorado, Georgia, Louisiana, Maryland, Michigan, Indiana, South Carolina, Texas. Uh, and we also know it's special because a lot of you have special names. There are a lot of grandmas and grandpas and nonas and nanas and ditos and dadas and, and Gigi's and Go-Go's and uh, a Pops and Eggie, a Bunny and Abuela. Um, we, have, we have a grandparent from, a uh, special friend from Mexico here today, so we are so glad that, that you are coming here and that, uh, that your, your granddaughter's or special friend is going, to, is going to see you in a minute. In case you're not familiar with our school, St. Mary's has been educating girls in Memphis for over 177 years. This year, our student body is over 120 students, ages two-year-old through 12th grade. And I can say with a, a 820, what did I say? 100. 100. You're going to see 120 right here. Yeah, 820. I don't teach math. Um, in case you're not familiar with the, with well, it sounds like I'm not familiar with this school. Uh, but uh, this is my 11th year's head here, my 20th year uh, at St. Mary's. And I can say with a lot of pride that St. Mary's is ranked top, one of the top girls' schools in the country, the best independent school in the state of Tennessee for girls. And our mission is to help each girl reach her individual potential so that she can leave here prepared to make the world a better place. And while that may sound like a big thing to achieve, we know that it's possible because of the unending skill and care and dedication of the teachers and staff and the curiosity and grit and compassion of the extraordinary girls you are about to see up here on the risers. And because of the love and support that you, parents and grandparents and aunts and special friends and uncles are giving to the girls every day. So please leave today knowing how thankful we are for you and the love and support you offer these girls. Our students have been working really hard to prepare this special program just for, just for you, and we hope today that you will get a glimpse of what makes St. Mary's such a special place. And, and we're so glad that it is the girls who will be describing that to you. This program is being filmed and photographed, and we will share a link with you soon so you can keep your phones down and you can enjoy the moment, as they say, in real time, in real life. And please know that that's extra special because your granddaughters get to see your face and not your phone when they're singing for you. So uh, we are going to begin with a procession and as you are able, please stand.
seated. Good morning. My name is Markisha Brasley Keith, and I'm the head of the lower school here at St. Mary's. I am so glad that you are here with us today. Your girls work very hard every day at school in their classes, striving to be kind, responsible, and thoughtful young ladies. In addition to celebrating our extraordinary students and their hard work, I'd love to recognize our amazing first and fourth grade teachers who guide our students each and every day with love and respect. Today, our first and fourth grade students will teach you about the Bridge to Caring, a very special part of St. Mary's. You will hear songs that your girls have sung for years and will likely remain a part of them for many years to come. I personally have three St. Mary's girls who were St. Mary Lower School Turkeys, and they can still sing these songs by heart. Please enjoy, and thank you so much for joining us today. St. Mary's provides us with opportunities to learn about far more than reading, writing, and math. We have, the we have the gift of the Bridge to Caring, our character education program that is woven through everything we do. If we can build a solid foundation held up by respect and responsibility, we can go out into the world with our light shining brightly. As we interact with people, we can remember to treat them with the dignity every human deserves. So please enjoy our program, highlighting our bridge to caring traits. But let me warn you, the songs are very catchy.
Our first stop on the bridge to caring is respect. Respect is showing consideration for myself and others. Learning and practicing respect is important enough to discuss throughout August and September. We focus on the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. But as we get older, we might explore the platinum rule to treat others the way they would like to be treated. We hope you enjoy our chapel song about respect. to caring is responsibility. Responsibility is doing what you have to do, when you have to do it, whether you want to or not. Responsibility is in everything we do. Schoolwork, sports, friendships, at home, everywhere. It is our responsibility to show respect each and every day. And yes, we are all aware that our parents like the strength the best. Opportunity might be gone forever. 
When we are kind, the ripple effect can be felt throughout the school and in our wider community. It is hard to believe we have reached the month of February as we cross the bridge to Cary, but here we are. In February, when it is frequently gray and cold, we focus on self-control, defined as thinking before acting or speaking. Some of us really struggle with this one. We love to express ourselves and frequently feel like everyone needs to know what we are thinking. We are a work in progress, learning to practice the pause and take into consideration how our words and actions might impact our classmates is a big job. Three questions we might ask during our pause are, is it true, is it kind, is it necessary? Three yeses means it's okay for you to speak out. situation and using all the bridge to caring traits we have learned throughout the year to move to a place of being truthful and fair. Much like courage, honesty can be a tough subject to grapple with, but with the support of our families and teachers, we get better at it every day.
Congratulations. We have made it to the last step on a bridge to caring, cooperation. Cooperation is working and playing well with others. At St. Mary's, there are very few times in any day where we are not cooperating. This beautiful community thrives on all of us, even you working and playing well together. Thank you for cooperating with us today. Thank you, first and fourth graders. Can we give them one more big round of applause? That was a perfect presentation of our Bridge to Caring, and I think you all could see how important it is to us. Um, I am Hillary Robinson, St. Mary's Class of 1990 and Associate Head of School. Um, and I just am here to say that we do a lot of singing in the lower school uh, to celebrate our, our already full days. And the girls have prepared a special musical offering for you this morning. And I hope you enjoy your granddaughters and special friends as they sing some more songs for you. Thanks.
the many traditions we have at St. Mary's is praying our school prayer together. This prayer was written by the Right Reverend Thomas F. Gaylor. After we pray this prayer in chapel, we sing day by day together. Please join us in saying the school prayer. Almighty God, fountain of all wisdom, be with us, we pray in the name of our today. And to all the teachers with a sense of their responsibility and with grace and strength for its fulfillment. Keep the students in health and mind and soul and body, may we be diligent in their studies, guard their experience, and save them through all temptations. Bless the patrons and the alumni of the school, and may you all solve more and more each day to advance in us that knowledge which is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. the assistant chaplain for the St. Mary's North Campus. And what a wonderful program this was this morning. I hope that this day shares with you a small glimpse of the wonderful things these students are learning at St. Mary's, and far more importantly, the wonderful young people they are. We are grateful for the loving role you play in their lives, and thank you so much for joining us today. I would also like to thank our incredible music teacher, Mrs. Thiel. I would like to thank our art teacher, Ms. Cook. And our accompanist, Molly Pennington. And extra special thanks to Eliza Lawhead, a junior who joined us from across the street for playing the flute for us this morning. As we conclude our main program, we want to invite you to join your granddaughters and special friends in their classrooms. First grade classrooms are out these doors over here. If you have some mobility issues and stairs are hard for you, I'm gonna point you to that door because there's a ramp in that direction. Fourth grade classrooms are found out that door. Um, and before you leave, make sure you stop by the photo booth. Fourth grades is over here. There will be folks from our philanthropy department taking pictures. Um, of you and your granddaughter or special friend. And in first grade, they're in the first grade hall, so you girls know how to get those folks there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah they've got this. Um, if you got here sort of right as we were beginning, you might have missed this table over here where all of the name tags are. And I know there's still some beautiful boutonnieres over there. If you haven't picked yours up, we would love for you to stop by and get that boutonniere. Um, as a reminder, the shuttle will be available to return you and your granddaughters to the parking lot of the Second Baptist Church from 1015 on. And that will be, you can catch that right out that door that you came in. If you need any assistance, there are lots of parent volunteers and lots of us who work here who are glad to help you in any way. Uh, just wave one of us down or ask. Um, and now, 
We are going to release these girls one row at a time so they can lead you to getting your photo taken and lead you to their classrooms. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday.